Patricia Grady, you are the GOAT. I'm inviting my wife to come and sit in this one because I want you to read some of the comments that was said. You want to tell your people why we're dressed this warm inside the house? Folks, we dress like this because we don't want to turn the heat on yet until tomorrow. <laughs> Because they already jacked up the price on the on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> this YouTube life is hard, right, babe? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, for those of you who don't know, my name is Barbara and I'm Joe's wife of 37 years. So I want to read the comments to Joe and have him react in real time. Because <laughs> Patricia Grady was going in on this guy named Marcus. And I feel like she had some very good points, but she was very respectful. Yeah, she was very respectful yeah. about it. And so, that's what I like about it. Let me start reading what this Marcus said. And I'm going to pause several points. Okay, I feel like you might want to interject an okay, answer. All mean. right. He says, I'm an elderly man too. Mm -hmm. And I have three daughters. Okay. I don't talk down on the young men because they have a very difficult time just trying to get married. I'm pausing. Trying to get married? But were you talking down on the guy? No, I wasn't talking down to the young man or nothing mm -hmm. like that. He's, I mean, let's go ahead. Let me <laughs> go ahead. Continue reading. <laughs> I always told my daughters to try to get a man they can look up to and try not to compete with. If he want to say look up to, I guess, well, if a man that is not a bomb or nothing like that, or man that could treat them, a man that treat them right and stuff like decent. that. Decent. A yeah, decent man. A uh -huh. decent man, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's what... Do you think what, that's what he means? Maybe that's what he means, but I don't... I mean, look up to. <laughs> and uh, I mean, when it comes to that point, look up to you, I mean. Okay, I, let's continue. <laughs> he says, um, It's sad this young man is taking this kind of criticism at 28 years old. Men like him are rare and hard to find. This... <laughs> I'm sorry to be <laughs> silly, but this is how I read it, okay? Yeah, wait, 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 <laughs> go wait. ahead, go ahead. The young man is the one that say he's a catch. He's the one that say that part. You know, so mm -hmm. what's the big deal? <laughs> he said men are him are men like him are rare and it shouldn't be. No. It shouldn't have to be rare. You ha don't you have two black sons? I have don't two we black have two black sons? That's right. Mm -hmm. What what do you tell your sons versus what you tell your daughter? I tell him the man is the, the woman is the catch. <laughs> He, he really does. Yeah. You really do. You the really do. is a catch. Mm -hmm. He is a catch. Oh, God. This man said the man is a catch that millions of young women would love to have. You see, you see, right there, they're the one that put the young woman them down to let them tell him, oh, the man is always better than you. That's what he's telling. The, 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 I mean, he might get mad about it, but to me, that's what he's telling the daughter that the man is better than you. Mm. That's the way it looked like them. Because to me, I mean, she, I'm no better than him and he's no better than me. We're equal. That's for us. Well, as like, human beings. As human beings. But Simone Biles has more achievement oh, yeah. under her belt oh, yeah. and that should not be diminished in any way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. This this kind of reminds me of my dad and my mom. Mm -hmm. And they're of a, well, my mom's past, but they are of a particular era. where And especially from the culture where we come from as mm -hmm. Belizeans, that the men... All the, the the males are looked up to the uncles, the brother them, the daddy them, stepdaddy them, right? They're all looked up to while the women are put on the back burner. And my mom worked a lot through their marriage to be alongside my dad with everything that he achieved. Everything my dad achieved, my mom was the what you want to say the neck that turns the head or the 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 the, 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 the bad bee behind my dad. And when she passed. The first thing he did when we were planning her funeral is to tell the, the funeral director that she never worked. <laughs> and I was jumping across the table you know, to scratch his eyes out because of, what, what, what are you talking about? Okay. My mom worked. The way I look, I, okay, like, it's like me and you, right? When we first get together. Mm -hmm. When we first got married. Right, uh -huh. we just get married. I'm the one always working. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you were working in a sense anyway because raising three kids is not easy. So yeah. what, what Joe is trying to say is that he worked outside the home and right. brought in the money, mm -hmm. but not once did he ever let me feel less than because I wasn't generating any money. And I was raising our kids because we had our first kid like three years into the marriage, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I was raising our kids, uh, but I was always trying to do business on the side. 
Well, I shouldn't say I, us, because I would get it started, but you would jump right in behind me and say, let's do this. Mm -hmm. We had a t-shirt business for a while, remember? Right. And then when he lost his job in 2002, I'm the one that went and established the bottle printing business. And then I had an offer to work with the city where we live, but I turned it down because I had to work alongside him because, you know, he needed the help. You would have had to hire somebody. I hire somebody. We just started, you know. Mm-hmm. So let me finish what the man said. Uh, he said, um, this young man is already a millionaire and is not in his prime yet. This is why she's happy with him. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he's a millionaire, so I can't argue that point. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't matter. That's not, that, wasn't, that wasn't the point, sir. That we, wasn't the point. We, we weren't talking about, about Simone's money. We weren't talking about his money. We were talking about Simone's achievement. Right. And the reason why we're so passionate about Simone is because Simone loves Belize. I made a comment at your page to somebody that said Simone's from Belize. And I told her no. no I think it's a her. And I said she's not a Belizean. Right. And that person, I think, misunderstood and thought Simone, that Simone was like our kids. No, Simone's grandmother, step-grandmother step is Belizean. Mm -hmm. But Simone is uh, American, black American. Mm -hmm. and but No blood ties to the no, grandmother. Right. But um, mm -hmm. but, uh, but we Belizeans receive her because she loves Belize. Right. She was raised up in the mm -hmm. culture, and for that reason, I was hoping that the grandmother Joe and I have been having this conversation at great lengths with our daughter, especially mm -hmm. our older son, because our middle son is married and not not living here. But more with our daughter, and I said I would hope that Belizean step grandmother instilled some of the Belize culture in her to let her know that she's great and as a woman you're great mm -hmm. and she said what you talking about mom you know most of those Belizean women from a certain era they'll take anything their man do to them including having three families on the side well, I lie. had to shut up well, right she, yeah I mean she she hit a point at which it should be because you get some uh, Belizean women that a man that cheating on their, on their wife have kids out there and bring the kid home for that. The wife take care of the kid. <laughs> <laughs> we know some people that's doing that right now. Mm -hmm. And Joel has younger sisters. Joel has an older sister that's about three years older than he is. He has a younger sister that's 11 months younger than him mm -hmm. or 13 months. And then he has a younger sister that's barely about 50 or 51. So a lot younger than he is. Yeah. But when she was a teenager and she was picking up with a thug, you tried to lecture her mm -hmm. the same way you would lecture your kids and your mom stopped you. Mm -hmm. Your mom said, that's my daughter. Don't be lecturing her. And it didn't end well. And Joe walked away. Joe says, well, I'm going to have my own kids and lecture them. So to the young kids that's watching your channel, oh, by the way, you hit a thousand subscribers a little while ago. Well, I did. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Like I tell you guys all the time, without you guys, I couldn't do it. So thank, 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 thank you a million times. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and just a, like a little insight into our marriage. Um, when I started to do YouTube back in 2011, mm -hmm. I was very unhappy on the bottle printing job. I was doing everything that I was supposed to do, but I didn't know how to print. I was just assisting him and, and did all the bookkeeping and the invoicing and stuff like that. And he asked me what did I want to do that would make me happy? Now, that's somebody that truly loves somebody else, right? They will ask that question in the middle of this. And I said, I wanted to write books. And he says, well, what's stopping you? And so I started to give a list of reasons of things that were stopping me. And then he says, we're going to get rid of all those reasons and we're going to do it. And I wrote the first book, not sharing that book because I want it off the market. <laughs> but it was my first book, right? I got it done. And then I wrote my second book, which is a cookbook, and I made my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, I, my YouTube channel is about cooking, right? The Bear Pantry Show. And um, I didn't do that by myself when I started to do the show. The first five videos, you were right on camera with me. Oh, that's true. But I made those videos private because they had copywritten music, and YouTube asked me to take the music out or take the video down. And so then we redid those videos eventually, and then I started to be... At first, I wasn't even on camera, just at the beginning and at the end of the mm -hmm. video. And then a friend came through in 2015 and said, you need to be on camera. I don't like the show where people are not on camera. So I started to put my face on camera, and then I would invite Joe on every so often, but he doesn't have to do it. If I ask him to cook something with me, he said, I don't want to. I don't force it, right? That's my dream. That's my thing, and I'll do it by myself, you know, if nobody wants to come on. And then there was a time when my mom got ill in 2012 and I realized that I had to be by her side and I wouldn't be able to be doing a lot of my shows consistently. So I brought on my kids and Joe and they took over a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, 
and I'm not trying to be a Simone Biles, the way she said it, when she said, right now, they know me as, they know him as Simone Biles' husband, but eventually, they're going to know me as his wife. To me, that's a part of her dreaming that I want so much for you, I want so much for this man, but a part of it is diminishing herself to make him feel better. And then for him, no, he could have said, you know what, babe? I am proud of your achievements and I'm great being Stedman. Just saying, just saying. But he didn't say that because that's not what is in him. And I'm sure he'll be great someday, right? Yeah. I'm sure he'll be great. So we're not trying to knock the young I mean, We have sons, we're not kid, trying to knock the young The kid is young and we all make mistakes, don't get me wrong. And mm -hmm. so, you know, maybe he might just, he was just joking, who knows? And when Simone came back and said, are you done yet? Our, our friend Diane from Chicago says she's probably tired of people dragging her name through the internet. Well, I would be too, tired of people dragging my name through the internet. But I wouldn't come out and say something cocky like that. But Simone is young too, and I think she already had a, a breakdown already. She already had some type of a mental breakdown. So she's under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. So we give her a lot of grace, right? That she's young. But we're trying to like instill in young women empower young women to know that you can be anything you want to be in life you don't need a man to be by your side to do what you want to do it's nice to have somebody to settle down with and we're not promoting that because you're a girl you have to settle down with a man we're open to everything here okay <laughs> to what they say the alphabet soup right we're just saying a partner let's say a partner a partner. Yeah, a partner. partner when you pick a partner that partner is supposed to complement you so yes i wasn't making money in the beginning but i complimented joe in every other way to help ease the burden that he because he worked hard when he worked out there and i was at home so i kept a clean home clean kids and when he came in he wanted to spend time with me and his kids and um joe was always the better cook i'm the better baker but joe's the better cook and i always compliment him and i was saying earlier not like the way simone biles did it but i always compliment him to say i'm the one on camera that's doing all the talking because that's my gift of speech and talking and Joe knows how to cook really well. So a lot of the times you see the presentation is Joe that popped in and helped me finish it. And I get invited to a lot of things from my Belize people, from the Belize government, no matter who's in power, my party or the other party, whenever they want to do anything that will represent Belize publicly, they reach out to me, even though there's other Belizeans that are doing cooking videos, they reach out to me because I've been doing it the longest. I have, um, what do you call the thing behind me? The experience behind me. And also I can talk publicly and not say the wrong things publicly, right? And if they want me to cook something like rice and beans, which I'm only competent at, I'm not, I don't excel at it, Joe will jump in. I don't even have to ask him. He'll jump in and go, okay, boo, I got the rice and beans covered. You do the bread, you do the cake, because you're better at that. And we figure what we're better at and we work with each other, mm -hmm. right? So in that regard, Joe's not better than me. I'm not better than Joe. We're complimenting each other. And that's what we're trying to show. Simone Biles probably don't even see this video. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're trying to show the young people that came on the Joe's channel mm -hmm. recently. That you matter. As a dude, you matter. As a girl, you matter. But honestly, the dude is never the catch. I wish women would learn that. The woman is the catch. Because the woman keeps everything turning. And make that man just successful and look good. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think we learned all of this like through network marketing, right? Because when you're in network marketing, they train you that you're supposed to honor your upline. You're supposed to honor the people that you're introducing to come on stage. And then when it's your turn, they honor you. And so I, that's what I wish this guy would have done. But he just doesn't have it in him. Maybe he can learn. Yeah, maybe, maybe he can maybe, learn. Maybe, I mean, you can't kill him for that, but... Mm -hmm. Like, my dad's an Olympian. He's not a gold medalist or a medalist winner. You know, he got a little medal mm -hmm. that they give you for participating because he did um, compete. But I don't feel like Belize give him enough honor. And not just him, people from his era. Right? And they latched on to Marianne Jones, which I love her still, even though she got into a lot of uh, trouble and controversy. I still love Marianne Jones. And she is Belizean blood. Maybe I think she's probably born here, but Belize heritage like our kids. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And like I said, I don't have any problem with Belizean people latching on to Simone Biles, even though she's not blood Belizean, because she loves Belize. Mm -hmm. How am I going to knock that, right? But I just feel like Belize on a whole should honor their athletes a little bit more. And I feel like if we spend time trying to give honor and respect to people and their achievements, it'll come back to us. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope I didn't take over your show. 
No, you were just saying, what else, what else you got to say, that's it. So somebody else um, answered Patricia by saying, Mr. Biles, as you call him, Patricia was being facetious, could have dated and married any supermodel. Oh, Jesus, Lord, I didn't see this one. Black or white, but he married Simone. So Simone is lucky. This is somebody else now. But that's what she's saying over here. Yeah, this is somebody else. D bro is saying that to Patricia. Uh, that's why he's saying that Simone is lucky that. You may not want to admit it, but eligible black men are a rare species. Uh, even for Simone. What the? <laughs> Let me shut up because I'm going to get his whole channel canceled. Uh, she shot her shot. <coughs> and won. Is, is this a troll? This has to be a troll. Why you say this? She shot her shot and won. Like he's the prize. Okay. If you people, if you okay. people, so, you people. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Ross Perot. Oh, so child. She, he wanted to because she 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 put her name out. She put herself out there. That means she shot her shot and. If you people like this girl and want her to thrive, you black people. This is, this has to be a troll. Uh, We're not even going to address this. Patricia, don't even address this fool. This is a whole troll because either this or this is a white racist person. We, we don't fly with that over here. Simone, girl, we love you. We hope your marriage lasts. We hope this young man can learn the error of his ways. And that's something that he has to develop in him. You just can't come back and say the right words. You have to work on that in yourself. Mm -hmm. All I know that over here, we're going to continue teaching our children the right way. Our oldest son is 34 and he's a beautiful black man that can offer anything to any woman. To any woman and the most thing that we want him to offer any woman is respect yeah. respect respect yourself and respect her and the same thing with our middle child who is married and he has a wife and a stepdaughter which by the way even though we're Belizean and she love our Belizean culture and love our Belizean food doesn't make her Belizean or stepdaughter that's the point I was trying to make to your viewer but your viewer came back and made it right and we have a beautiful daughter that's up and coming in the music industry and that's why daddy is so protective of her because you see what's going on in that industry with Diddy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a whole topic you could get into. <laughs> T.D. Jakes and Diddy. But we don't want to like talk about their thing per se. We want to talk about our feelings about the whole industry. Mm -hmm. the, the religious industry and the music industry, right? Maybe mm -hmm. that's another video. Yeah, could be the idea. Do you have anything you wanted to add, baby? Mm, that's about it. Like I was saying about it, I'm not trying to drag the kid because I don't know the young man and you could be a nice guy and, you know, you're just that what he said, that he's a catch. That's all. That's all we was talking about. <laughs> Maybe I could tell my wife I'm the catch. Am I the catch? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me do this. Let me do this. So maybe right now, uh -huh. people know you as Miss Bear Pantry Show's husband. Uh -huh. But as your channel develops, mm -hmm. they'll know me as Hello People Joe wife. Oh. <laughs> you see how simple that sounds? When we go out in public and we get recognized, most of the time people recognize Joe first. And I think it's because he's taller than me, so they see him first. Because they're like, we didn't even see you down there, <laughs> right? So they see him first, but they always recognize Joe. They love Joe when they meet Joe in public. They like me too, but mm -hmm. they really trip over Joe. And do you think that make me feel any type of way? No? I'm like, have fun. I don't want to get recognized anyway. I just want money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Congratulations on hitting a thousand. I've set up a party for you at midday, so you have to make sure you eat lunch and get ready for your what? party. Yeah, a thousand subscriber party. You're pretty close to getting monetized for um, the supers, super chat, super thanks, super sticker, and membership. I think you have to mm. have three thousand watched hours, and you're right at twenty nine. I think twenty nine eighty five. Okay. You need fifteen more watched hours, and I think we can do it before this day ends. My 40 days, eh? Mm -hmm. 50 hours? 50. <laughs> See? He has no confidence in himself. You can do it, babe. Wait, wait, wait. It. How much hours? 15. One out of five. You know, 15 hours and you pretty soon is... is <laughs> you could go live for 15 hours. <laughs> I bet I could go live for 10 minutes. You're talking about 15 hours. <laughs> Folks, thank you guys again for subscribing, share, like, and all those good stuff. And thank you so much. And remember, I always say, without you guys, I can't do it. I need you guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.
So usually at the end, I'll put bloopers if Joe has any bloopers, but okay. a comment ah. came in while I was editing that I have to have to have to read this comment to Joe. So it says, do you, th so you think that because Simone Biles is darker that he thinks the husband, right? Mm -hmm. Thinks that he's better. Or are those your thoughts? She's asking. Then she said, I wanted to see if your wife was on your channel and I was curious of her complexion. I think some people think things because they have those feelings. So she's trying to say that you're projecting your feelings, that you're probably liking somebody lighter complected or something, that you're not going to pick a dark skinned woman, right? No. And it says, it's sad that in America, it's sad that America has said that lighter toned women and white women are the beauty standard in America. That's very sad. We hate, we, we hate that too, because yep. in Belize, where we're both from, they don't have those type of things. They have class. Classism, right? Classism, meaning like if you're highly educated and you have money, you you know, they treat you like you're better than, right? But it's not by skin color that you're treated like you're better than in Belize, right? So that doesn't matter. Because in Belize, you're Belizean, that's it. We don't, yeah, we're we Belizean. Don't have black we, we don't have black Belizean, white Belizean, Belizean, Belizean. Hispanic Belizean, Asian Belizean. 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 We're Belizean. We're Belizean. So um, she's just... Um, saying her own thing about it's sad that in America they do that and it is sad we it's agree with that sad. I agree with her mm -hmm. we agree with that and Joe did marry me who was lighter complected but it's not like Joe had like a preference he dated all different um, skin tone of women and the reason he married me is because I didn't cheat on him all those other heifers did they didn't know what they had because he's quiet easy going they think he's a pushover right but he's not. He wanted yeah. somebody who was going to be faithful. And folks, I treat all my girlfriend them right when I used to go to date them. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's true. He always told me I treated them good. I treated them respectfully. Even if I knew that that relationship wasn't going to go anywhere, I still treated them yeah. well. The, the and especially if they had me. kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Treated the kids well. And then he met me and that's who he fell in love with. So it doesn't matter my complexion, right? And my kids feel the same way. They like all different skin tone, all different cultures, stuff like that. So I don't know where she was going with this. I feel like she's like, oh my God, I bet you anything he has a lighter complected. I'm not white girl. I'm black from Belize. I know I don't look darker skin, but you all know that black come in every color. And I don't feel like white people see us with the shades that we have. They see all of us as black, lighter, medium, darker. They see us as black. When it comes to white people, wait, wait, but when wait. it comes to black people, we're the ones that see the tone color. But even if you're white, and you got a touch of black, and you're still black, according to them. Well, that goes back to slavery day, the one drop <laughs> thing. But I'm saying that white people on a whole don't look into my family and see different right. shades. I mean, and, and see, you know, oh, that one lighter, that one. That, no, they just see black. Oh, that whole family is black. But when it comes to black folks, they'll look and go, oh, Jada's lighter than Joshua, and Joshua's da, da, da. So what's a big deal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where she was going with this, but welcome to the channel anyways. Joe really appreciates having everybody come on board. Honestly, yes, yes. this is an open discussion. What's your name? This name is Kodingmo. I think it's just a username. Welcome to the channel, Thank Kodingmo. Thank you, Kodingmo, for coming please, to the channel. Please Subscribe. chat again. Give your opinion. As long oh, as yeah. you stay respectful, we're cool. Because uh, we don't want like people fighting with each no, other. No, we don't want to fight. I mean, you could give your opinion and stuff. No, I don't want people fighting with each other, no. dragging each other in no. the chat. We can debate. We can debate. Yeah, so he's not projecting what he feels about that man. That man said it with his whole chest. He says the men are the catch. So he's um, misogynistic because he thinks the men are everything, right? And there is colorism going on in there. This is our opinion. This is how we feel. And we feel like he has room to grow and change. Oh, yeah. It's we never young said young he's done. Go away. You know what I mean? And when we say for the person that said, what is she going to learn? Somebody else said that. She's going to learn that she's going to have to know who she is. Know thyself. She's the one that, that's right. She got to know thyself. <laughs> she worked hard for what she's achieved. Oh, yeah. And she's, she's going to learn. So that's what we meant. Bye. Bye-bye, people.